Oh, he'll go over there. Come see. He's got to visit everybody. He's so active. Busy, busy. Again, this is Noodles. The Bichon. The Bichon. 
Companionship is what most pet owners are looking for. Um, and that's exactly what I found in Oliver. Oliver here is my dog. He is a mix of Lhasa Opso and Schnauzer, miniature Schnauzers to be exact. Uh, you'll remember from the beginning, Lhasa Opsos are the little Buddha bottles um, where it's believed that they are um, vessels for Buddhas traveling through different bodies until they get to their final form, go. basically. The Lhasa Opsos are small, attentive, and hearing. They were the second guard force in Tibetan monasteries. Uh, right after the bull mastiffs, or I'm sorry, Tibetan mastiffs, um, they are overtly affectionate. Yeah. They um, are known for laying their head directly oh, on their oh, master's feet, just this one, and also um, rubbing their head on their master's body to show affection. They were recognized in 1935 <laughs> by the AKC and ranked 65th most popular. Uh, now, the miniature schnauzer part of him, um, yeah. miniature schnauzers were bred to be just smaller version of schnauzers. They are um, meant to pull rats out of their homes. They're called a ratting dog. Um, but that does not make them a working dog like their giant schnauzer counterparts. They're actually considered terriers because they go underground to get animals. Um, AKC breed standard describes temperament for miniature schnauzers as alert and spirited, yet obedient to command, friendly, intelligent, and willing to please, never over aggressive or timid, despite how excitable he is today. Um, they were recognized by the AKC in 1926 and ranked 16th most popular dog in the U.S. So knowing the quirks, quirks rather of uh, the breed that blended together to make my dog, I better understand why he does some of the things he does. Um, dogs have been domesticated for thousands of years. They work beside us, they live beside us, and they play beside us. Understanding dog breeds is uh, a good step in appreciating the nuances of what dogs bring to your life. You never know, the next dog you meet might just be a former Buddha. So thank you guys.